Mitch, Radio Edit Automotive. I want to talk to you a little bit about the update before we get into doing a direct download and installing via that Manor versus USB. So one of the biggest things that I want to remind you is don't go nuts over this thing. That's why I brought my mask on in. I just want to remind you, don't go nuts. This is not a brand new operating system. This is a bug fix. We're calling it an update. Everybody calls it an update. It's really a patch. It's to fix certain issues. You're going to see a list of the issues that this update is going to fix. And if you don't have any of those issues, I strongly suggest that you don't do this update. So one major word of caution that I do have before you start this upgrade is if you do not have an AU car unit and you bought a unit off of Amazon or you bought a unit off of eBay and you got a hold of this video and you got a hold of this upgrade, I strongly suggest you don't attempt it. You could very easily end up with a bricked system and no support to get that fixed. So again, if you have an Amazon unit, if you have an eBay unit and you do not have an AU car unit, I strongly suggest you do not attempt this upgrade. As you see, we let radio pick the background for this video. So let's go ahead and get started on this update. So one of the first things you're gonna have to do is you're going to have to download this directly to your unit. So you can use the Facebook link if you want. Click on the link. Direct download. Continue. It's gonna say download again. I've downloaded in this past prior versions. So if it says download again, go ahead and do that. It may not show you that if this is your first time. So we'll go to download again. All right, so this is gonna take a while to download. I would suggest you use the Wi-Fi from your house. So park close to your house, use that. You probably don't wanna eat up the data on your OnStar or your 4G SIM, so strongly suggest pull up close to your house and download it that way from your Wi-Fi. It is going to take a little bit to get that downloaded because it is a two gigabyte file. Okay, so now that it's downloaded, we're gonna to need to go retrieve the file. So we're gonna to go to apps, eSuper file. You know, slide over here and go to download. Update 13 zip, long press. Copy. Now we're going to go back and we're going to paste it here. So, as you can see, this is way easier than going, getting the USB, and moving everything there. So now, very simple, all we're gonna do is slide down and hit reboot. Upgrade. Let's go ahead and hit upgrade. So you'll see your progress right here. All right, as you see now, after it installed the update, it rebooted, and now we're back to that upgrade screen. So you're gonna have a continuous loop of trying to upgrade this if you don't remove it. So now let's check and make sure that the update took. So let's go to settings, system settings, and then we're gonna software version. For this particular upgrade, for this video, we're going to look for 202-41206. As time, this will change. This is how to upgrade the unit. 
we will have different upgrades that will be attached to this. So it's not always going to be the 20241, 206. It will change as time goes. And now what we're going to also want to do is we're going to want to go to super file. And then we're going to want to go over. And so this update 13.zip, we're going to need to remove that. So we delete. So the reason why we're deleting that is every time you go through a reboot, it would come back to that update screen and you have to do it every single time. You're gonna see that over and over and over again. So once the update is done, you're gonna to wanna to get rid of that. So at this point in time, you will now be completely updated. As I mentioned before, if this is not an AU car unit, I strongly suggest you don't try and do this. It could end up breaking your system. And if you bought from somewhere like Amazon or eBay, you're probably not going to have the support to get it fixed. 